In this video, we drive some of the back roads and go to the corner store and discuss a little bit of the history of Bramwell, West Virginia. So, hope you enjoy! This is just a quick little video on the drive over to Bramwell, um, the town of Bramwell. And it's a pretty interesting little story. I even bought the book at um, the corner soda shop that tells all about Bramwell. I haven't had a chance to go through all the way through it, but it has some amazing history and it's a cool little town. So we're leaving Buffalo Trail. We're going to go get fuel and head over. So the history of Bramwell is that it was, um, or the basic history, is it was established in 1888 by J.H. Bramwell. Um, it sprang to power and became one of the richest towns in the state or in the, in the country. Um, it was known, Bank of Bramwell was the financer, financial center for Southwest um, for southern West Virginia during the coal mining industry. So it was really big time during the coal mining boom. From what I read, um, the 1840s and 50s, mid-1800 is when um, the coal mining industry really started to hit strong. And um, the first uh, train was established in 1884 for the first rail system established in Bromwell. So it's the first and oldest incorporated town in Mercer County. And um, it's got tons of history and tons of character and some beautiful mansions that are still there. Um, you could do a tour of the mansions there. The other thing that you can do near there is there's the um, history of mining or the expedition of mining you can do a tour in one of the old mines we didn't do that we've done mining tours in colorado and in several other places so we decided to pass on it at least for this time um but in this video we're taking the drive from the back way you can run up 52 you know right up into um bramwell and it's legal to ride on the roads here in this area so you could do that. Um, it's just so busy on that main road with the big trucks that I think it's fun to drive some of the back roads. So we're taking some of the back roads. You still have to be cautious. People, they're used to taking these roads and this is their home and they got places to go and they're uh, in a hurry sometimes. So you have to watch for the other drivers and pay attention, but it's beautiful this time of year. This is um, towards the end of October and leaves are really changing and you can see that we've got greens and oranges and yellows and reds and it's full color and it is gorgeous this time of year the temperatures have been really nice um we've had a few cold days and a few rainy days you know you never can judge what it's going to be like but overall the weather has been amazing here for riding and for, for seeing the trees and the leaves changing and um, and for going to the corner store for some amazing ice cream. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I did also read where it said that right now the population is around, or in the last couple of years, it's been around 350 people. But um, back in the late 1800s, it was like 4,000 people lived in this area. Um, they worked in the coal mines and the supporting uh, businesses around them. 
It became famous for having the most millionaires per capita of anywhere in the country. And there are still some gorgeous, gorgeous um, houses here. <laughs> Even though West Virginia is, you know, everybody talks about it being a poor community and a low income. And there are certainly a lot of houses that represent that and a lot of areas that you can definitely see the decline. But that doesn't mean, it's like any state in any area, that doesn't mean all the houses are like that. You can see here, there's some well-kept and, well, and some nice um, houses here, some nice communities. And Bramwell has some beautiful um, architecture there. Um, definitely the corner shop, that it's on Main Street. It was a former drugstore, I can't remember what they said the name was. But um, it's, it's a neat little stop. They've got some food, you can stop there for lunch. They have sandwiches and, and some different things, some snacks. And, um, and they have, you know, amazing ice cream as well. So, and some, um, some um, souvenirs. You can get t-shirts. I got a t-shirt there. And they've got all kinds of cool little stuff there. And it is a very fun little stop. I also read where it said that there were 17 millionaires, which is the highest per capita uh, population of rich folks in the nation at the time. And that at, at their peak, they had 14 trains a day stopping here, um, stopping at Bramwell uh, along the Norfolk and Western Railway Line. They said that um, they would haul bags of money with using a wheelbarrow from the train station, which is just kind of crazy. Their, the style of the homes are uh, Victorian or Tudor style, European cultural um, homes, which it kind of seems a little out of place in the Appalachians, but it is, they're incredible, well-maintained homes, and still, um, you know, still you can do the tours today. I think they said there's something like $15 a person to go on the tour, but um, like, we didn't do that either. We should have, we just, just didn't, it just didn't happen this time. But if we go back, I'd certainly like to do that. One other thing to note on these roads, um, most of these back roads, it's fine to ride on with the side-by-side. -side, um, and you can ride, you know, a lot of the area on it, but you do have to pay attention. There are some signs, you'll see a sign up that says, no UTVs or side-by-sides past this sign or in this direction, or it'll say, UTV route, um, and you want to make sure you honor that and respect that. I mean, these people live here and it's their home, and we want to respect their wishes. And if there's an area that they don't want side by side, then I certainly want to respect that. When you go into town and go to Main Street, um, there we park in this video, you'll see us park behind the corner store. Um, there is a, another parking lot on down the road from that. But that's the area where you do have to kind of watch. There's several signs that say they don't want you going back in their neighborhoods, I guess. Um, and, and rightly so. I mean, it gets noisy. And I can see why you have your kids out there playing. You don't want a bunch of crazy UTVers running past your house. So um, just pay attention to the signs and respect their, their privacy. Some days 
take off now Don't think twice, but hey Now don't you want to please Stop. 
trust me, but I don't wanna be like you. If you wanna take it back to the fifties, maybe I'm not the guy for you. You're dying not to work, but work until you die. You know that's true. Have you thought it through? Uh, 'Cause you love to tell me what to do. Say no. I do. You guys, you don't need to impress the ones you hate. That's so fucked up. 'Cause everything you own just ends up owning you. So, dear society, you suck. <laughs> Say no.
All I want in this whole life A little red house in a country wire A picnic table out on the lawn A couple of kids and a couple of dogs Work all day to half past five A chain link fence and a gravel drive The wind chime ringing on my front porch A brand new carpet on every floor And a rope swing tied around the limb of a tall oak Every day of the week A big soft chair But when I'm old a tackle box and a fishing pole I don't care about a fortune of fame I just don't want to know my mailman's name At Christmas time I'm going to eat him a gingerbread cookie It don't sound like much But it sure is heaven to me Every now and then go on a vacation Oh.